Hey YouTube, we have a pretty quick video today. We are going to be checking the difference between uh, vinegar, just plain white vinegar, a degreaser that I'll show later that I got from work, as well as uh, the very popular Mean Green, just to see what does the best job removing the excess resin from your resin prints. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, like I said, it should be a pretty quick and hopefully informative video, and there will be more like this to come. I want to keep continuing to experiment with different options to remove the resin, uh, as isopropyl alcohol is so difficult to find right now. All right, let's get started. Here in the ultrasonic, I have tried just straight vinegar, and you can actually see that the extra resin is dissolving into the vinegar. So this is going to be one of the several different solvents that we tried. Um, it's readily available, very cheap, so I wanted to give this one a try. Thought it'd be a good option. Let's see how it looks when it comes out. All right, guys, this time around, we have some Diversi Sumo Foam Free Liquid Oven Cleaner and Degreaser. This is a pretty heavy duty uh, degreaser. You definitely want to wear gloves for this, not only for the resin, um, so it can definitely eat away at your skin a little bit. And you want to make sure that you're wearing nitro gloves, not just um, latex gloves. Um, so it is pretty heavy, which is why I also think it's going to do a pretty decent job here. Um, I used a little beaker, I did a 4 to 1 ratio of degreaser. So I did 100 millimeters of water, or sorry, of the degreaser to 400 millimeter, uh, milliliters of water. And we're just gonna go ahead and leave it in for one cycle and see what it, uh, what it looks like when it's done. Again, once it comes out of here, we're gonna go into the pickle, pickle jar, which is straight water, um, let it dry fully, and then we're gonna put it in my awesome Infinity Mirror curing station and see what it looks like. Okay, for this round of testing, we're gonna be using the ultrasonic cleaner again with the Super Strength Mean Green. Uh, straight Mean Green, not diluted at all. And this is going to be the third and final solution that we use. Uh, and then we'll compare side by side when this one's done. Alright, you can see here the three that we did. From the left to right, we have Plain White Vinegar, the Foam Free Suma Degreaser, and then the Mean Green uh, All-Purpose Degreaser and Cleaner. Um, you can see at this distance that some of them worked pretty well, and some of them worked about as well as trying to give your cat a shower. Uh, if anyone ever, ever done that, you know, it doesn't always turn out that great. So we're going to go ahead and zoom in and take a closer look at each one. Alright, here's another close look of the one with the plain white vinegar. You can see it did do a decent job of removing the excess resin, left a nice sheen to it as well. Unfortunately, there was some residue from the vinegar that upon curing turn white. Um, so that is not ideal. Uh, it works better in a pinch than nothing, um, but it clearly is not the most ideal solution. But overall, I do like how it left everything nice and shiny. Just uh, wish it would have then itself not have turned white. All right, we're gonna move on to the next one, which is the degreaser. All right, here is the Suma Foam Free Degreaser. Um, again, it did a nice job with the shine, but there is much more visible residue from the degreaser and or maybe a reaction between the degreaser and the resin. Um, so overall, I would not recommend using this. In my head, I thought it would work well um, because it's very good at dissolving other chemicals and grease buildup, but unfortunately, in this case, it would definitely not be best solution. Um, I would say it probably is the worst thing I've tried. Um, so we're definitely not going to recommend doing that. And now we're going to go ahead and get on to the Mean Green. I think we have a pretty clear and evident winner here with the Mean Green. There's still a nice shine. Um, I don't see any built up residue from the cleaner. Um, 
because I think overall the part came out very nice. I do have a little bit of residue right there. That's actually uh, there was some residue I didn't get all the way off. Um, I was more focused on the inside. And it is unfortunately difficult to go inside with a toothbrush and soapy water. But overall I'm pretty happy with this. And I think, like I said, I think we have a pretty definite and clear winner. And for the price, you can't beat it. Um, with isopropyl alcohol being so hard to find. And Mean Green is like four to five dollars, depending on where you find it, for a whole gallon. Um, and you can reuse it for many batches um, before it becomes saturated. All right. So in summary, as you can see, we have three different solvents that I tried today, and one of them is the clear winner, and the other two are kind of like my social life in high school, complete and other failures. Um, so definitely not going to recommend either of these. In a pinch, you could probably use the vinegar. Um, maybe just a little bit more cleaning of the vinegar before you cure it. Um, but the easiest and best solution is definitely the Mean Green. Um, I guess maybe that's why they call it Mean. Because it does such a good job. Alright. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And uh, look forward to seeing your comments below. Maybe suggest anything else you'd like to see me try. I'm always willing to try other, other solutions. Um, so yeah, I look forward to hearing that. And have a good one. See you next Monday.